On the economic front, findings show Korea's current account racked up a record deficit in January amid dramatic declines in semiconductor exports. Our finance correspondent Lee Dae-yeon has the numbers. South Korea's current account saw an all-time high deficit in January. Preliminary data released by the Bank of Korea on Friday shows that the country posted a current account deficit of over 4.5 billion U.S. dollars, the highest figure since relevant data was first compiled in 1980. The current account was back in the red again in January following a surplus the previous month. This was largely driven by a record high deficit for goods due to sluggish exports. The goods account recorded its biggest ever deficit at more than $7.4 billion, marking the fourth consecutive month in the red. Compared to the same period a year earlier, it dropped by $9 billion. Exports dropped almost 15 percent on year, making it five months in a row for on-year decline. With the global economic slowdown, exports for chips dropped 43.4 percent and steel products declined 24 percent. Imports, on the other hand, increased 1.1 percent on year, backed by consumer goods like cars and crops. Meanwhile, the deficit in the service account, which tracks earnings and spending on overseas trips and transport, came to around $3.2 billion in January. With eased COVID-19 measures, the travel balance tripled to $1.4 billion from a year ago. The Bank of Korea says this is expected to improve in February with more inbound Chinese travelers. We saw a more than 100 percent increase in Chinese travelers in February. And as China resumes issuing short-term visas, South Korea lifting PCR tests for travelers from China and the two countries to increase flights to the pre-pandemic levels, more foreign travelers are expected. He added the average spending of Chinese travelers is higher than other countries, which may help narrow the deficit. The official also explained that the Bank of Korea said the current account balance as a percentage of GDP is expected to come in at around 1.5 percent this year. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.